welcome to a sad edition of boobs, but no booze, which is a good thing that I'm laying off that. Today we are at, I believe, day 35 of quarantine here. I lost track, forgive me if I am wrong on my tally. Um, things are hitting me a little bit hard. I just received an email that uh, I am no longer employed at my establishment. So the bar that I worked at for three and a half years has shut down. So we all got laid off. But I knew this was coming, and I already knew ahead of time. Uh, a family member of mine is ill, and she lives all the way in Kansas City, and uh, we don't know how long she has, and most likely I won't be able to go to the funeral. So that's another thing, and uh, you know, it's just really bothering me about all the, you know, everything that's popping up with, you know, you have the Breonna Taylor story, and uh, Ahmad Albury, and it just, and then the gentleman in uh, Indianapolis. And the other brother in St. Paul, Minnesota, it's just on and on and on. And then you have to worry about getting other people sick and, and everyone else, you know, you know, how, how, it's just, you try not to be selfish and It's kind of hard, you know. Uh, yeah. I, uh, trying to keep positive. It's really a hard thing to do when there's so much negativity around and you feel like you're stuck and you can't go anywhere. I mean, of course there are things to do around your house like read and write, in which I'm having writer's block and I <laughs> haven't been able to be as creative as I should be and, you know, work out, which I've been doing, which makes me feel good, but it's just everything. Everything around us right now is just so negative. It's like a big dark cloud is lingering. I mean, I'm just blessed that I have a great support system. But there are others who aren't as lucky as me who don't have that support system. I could, I mean, I've already cried earlier, so I'm not gonna cry again. It's just exhausting. All of this is just exhausting, it's just, I'm not going to say it's taking a toll because I'm not at breaking point, but it's definitely a shitty week. Yeah. I'll probably come back later with a better commentary. And uh, 
Maybe I'll be a little bit more cheerful. Toodles.